All right, so today I'm at a spot that I know has a good population of striped neck musk turtles and also possibly northern map turtles. So I'm gonna kind of wade around in this uh, clear water and hopefully find some. I'm hoping it's clear water. It did recently rain, so it may be a little less than clear, but we'll see how it is. And uh, wish me luck, hopefully I find some. So even under this bridge, you can see the habitat is just so cool. It's this clear water kind of flowing over rock. This is like one of the things that makes the habitat that these guys like just so cool is they love this clear water habitat flowing over rocks and you know aquatic plants and snails and stuff are all in here. All right, so hiked a little bit upstream and this is some pretty classic striped neck moss turtle habitat right here. The water's clear, it's shallow. Uh, lots of little rocks and aquatic plants, so these guys can be hidden anywhere in this, all the way upstream, so I'm going to kind of wade through and see if I find any. Alright, so the water quality wasn't as good as I had hoped. I did have some rain last night. So I'm gonna drive down to another spot and see if I have any more luck there. Figured I'd take the road back. Pretty good day. Don't mind taking the road. It's a good day to maybe cruise a snake too, so something else to keep my eyes peeled for. Right, so now I'm in a different creek. Uh, this one's a little bit more clear, a little bit more shallow, has a nice flow to it. Um, so I'm gonna try here and see how I do. Looks really good though. I love the way it just kind of comes flowing out of the forest. The forest. All right, so here we are, finally found one. I just looked down as I was walking and right next to this rock, I don't know if you can see it right there, striped neck musk turtle. So that's the first one of the day, good sized adult. I'm gonna try and trip and, try not to trip and fall while I get this. So let's see if we can uh, sky up and check them out. Wow. What a classic striped neck musk turtle. Nice size female, classic pattern, flat little shell. These guys are just amazing. Uh, this one is just a good classic example of the species. These guys used to be considered a subspecies of the loggerhead musk turtle, but were re recently elevated to full species status. So there's Sternotherus peltifer. Uh, used to be Sternotherus minor peltifer, but um, now they are their own species and they're actually pretty abundant in these streams in uh, northwest Georgia and then throughout Alabama going into Mississippi. Uh, they're also up in Tennessee. So they're a beautiful turtle, very popular in the pet trade and kind of unfortunately because of that, um, they have in the last few years become really a prime target for poachers. Uh, so just like any turtle, if you're interested in one, I always recommend captive bred. There are people captive breeding these guys. They cost a little bit more, but um, you know, nobody's poaching wild adults. Because um, it is nice to be able to come out here and, and see these guys in the wild. And, you know, turtles are one of those animals that's really easy to poach them into non-existence. So I'm going to take this turtle and we're going to shoot some photos of it. And I'm just really stoked. I was starting to get a little concerned I wouldn't see one today, but I uh, just happened to walk right up on this one and um, what is really some perfect habitat. This gives you a better idea of what the habitat looks like that they live in. They love these cool flowing streams. Uh, typically these are gonna be your trout streams. Uh, the water can get really cold and these guys actually do really well in cold water. Um, it's one of their favorite habitats, so they're um, truly unique. All right, so I just finished shooting some photos of this musk turtle. Uh, hopefully they came out good. They look good so far. Uh, got some up close and some habitat shots. Uh, you can see habitat is really awesome. What an awesome turtle. So glad today worked out. So glad I was able to find one. And now let's let's go release this little guy. Look at the leaf. All right, let's let her go. Running away. All right. Thank you so much for letting me take your photo. All right, so I went to this next little area downstream and I found another striped neck musk turtle. Almost impossible to see through the water. Uh, you just have to know what to look for. They're just barely visible right there. 
but as you can see, pick it up, and that in fact is a turtle. It's a good looking male striped neck musk turtle. You can tell by the head. The shape on the head of the males is much more snouty. Uh, they just have like kind of bulkier heads, bigger jaws. Um, so this guy's hanging out here in this pool. Got a neat little keel on the back of his shell. That's just a really good example of a male striped neck moss turtle. Look at that, look at those jaw muscles. He eats a lot of snails, a lot of clams. Uh, right now he might be eating a lot of acorns. So that is a, a gorgeous male, look at that. And you can see he has a little bit of damage to his marginals, which is really common. Uh, when these males battle, they'll actually bite each other's marginals uh, to fight over territory. So this guy has definitely had his share of scraps and likely, since this is such a good area right here, he's likely the dominant male of this particular section of this stream. So I'm gonna let him go. Let him go back to being the dominant male. Do your thing, bro. Yeah, hold it down. Literally, I literally turned around from letting that male go and here's another one. Let's see what this one is. Oop, this is another big dominant male and you can tell by those <laughs> Look at the head on this guy. That is insane. That is an old male striped neck musk turtle. And he's got a lot of scars. This guy's seen a lot of battles. Um, that is an awesome turtle. Wow. Luckily I found this stream. I was worried I wasn't gonna see any. And um, i let this guy go. There you go, buddy. Watch out, that's my foot. That's my foot, it's not a place to hide. Don't hide next to my foot. There we go. All right. <laughs> so apparently this is a really good spot for him. Uh, turn around, there's one male and then there's another male. So uh, they definitely have gathered up in this area. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled in case I see another one. I mean, you can see here the bottom is just beautiful. The water's clear. This is, uh, this is it. This is the habitat that they like. Um, and that's one thing with turtles you'll see a lot is you can go to sections and not see anything and then you get in like one little pocket and it'll just be such a good spot that you'll just start finding them, you know, left and right. And that happens with all kinds of species. I've seen it with, you know, musk turtles, obviously, cooters, soft shells, uh, even alligator snapping turtles. I've seen it a lot in, in alligator snapping turtles. Uh, they'll just get to certain, certain places and they just will all utilize the same habitat and they'll all share space. Such awesome habitat. And we're out here in the country, uh, this is actually in Alabama. Um, these Alabama tr creeks are actually connected to all the West Georgia creeks. So uh, you get a lot of the same species. I just like coming over here because it's a little different, a little quieter. All right, so I'm really glad that after uh, kind of getting skunked a little bit at the sand hills on uh, southern hognose and pine snakes, I'm glad I decided to try and tie it up this week by coming out here looking for striped neck musk turtles. Uh, they're like one of the most awesome turtles there is, and this time of year you can still find them, you know, out running around on the bottom of the creek like like we did today. So really glad I decided to do that. Uh, there's only really a couple more weeks really of being able to find water turtles you know, out doing their thing before it starts to get a little bit cool. So uh, glad that worked out. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate all you guys watching. I love all the comments that I get. I love uh, you guys hit me up in the DMs on uh, Instagram. Um, it's really awesome to, to be able to communicate with everybody. That's why I do this. So uh, thanks again for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, follow along if you like turtles and, I, you know, follow along if you don't like turtles. I just hope that you uh, watch and learn. So uh, thanks again. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.